So here is a shot of the oyster. Oh, actually, yeah, it does look pretty big. Yeah, I'm collecting my thoughts. So welcome to another episode of Food Finders. I'm Seth and my guest host today is my pimple that grew out yesterday. <laughs> Hello! So it's just me today and uh, we are now in Singkang to find good food in Singkang. Uh, I'm going to refer to an article that our writer wrote. Okay, so just to clarify, I don't write everything on the website. Uh, there's like so many things. So one of our writers uh, who is a resident in Singkang has written a food list, 12 Singkang food places to make SG's Northeast Great again. So we're gonna go through this list and I am going to pick three places that I feel are interesting. Hopefully the food recommended is good and Singkang does have good places to eat. Let's go check out the first place. So let's go try out the first spot today. So we're here at 303 Anchorville Link, the Ar Armenian Street. Char Kway that we want to try, it's not open yet. So I, I wanted to buy some pancakes to try. This is from QQ Pancake. So apparently they also pretty much sold out on everything except coconut. So here's the coconut. <laughs> I want to buy peanut actually. Oh, they're actually pretty good. It's very soft. You can try if you're here. I think a bonus item. Uncle, you must see them bang kaya. Can you order them? Okay. Uh, so it was like 11.29 and uh, there's actually quite a lot of people that's already like placed order. So they only start at 11.30 and then it's 10 more minutes after that for you to get your cha kway So this is what we are here to try, the Armenian Street cha I actually asked the store owner, there was a typo on the signboard. It's supposed to be Armenian. The signboard person uh, put an M, so it's Armenian. According to my own website, uh, they used to be from Armenian Street. It was started in 1949. The father and the son are now working together and I think eventually the second generation, Mr. Tan, they are both Mr. Tan, is going to take over the business. Lah. They use freshly fried pork lard, right? So I, I think that's the secret to any good char kway teow. It's the freshly fried pork lard, which they do themselves. Uh, this is a $3 version. Okay, so we're gonna try this uh, plate. Pork lard. Oh, crap. Hello! I dropped the pork lard. Uh, there's ham also, or see, uh, this cockles. I can probably count the scallions, uh, it's like five pieces, uh, probably. <laughs> Typical stuff uh, in char kway teow. The ingredients are not like, oh, and lap chong, Chinese. Uh, sausage, lap chong. The savouriness from the pork lard is really like, oh wow, it shines through, man. Is damn good. If you're around the area, will you travel from the west all the way here for a plate of? Well, from, from the west, west a bit hard. From the west, <laughs> but definitely if like, I was in Aukang or Pongo, you know, like the northeast area, I would, I would definitely come here. I, I will give this four point five. So we are done with Armenian Street Char Kway We're gonna move on to the next spot in Tengkan. Let's go! After we finish this. The left? Oh, right. mother! Two dollars? We're gonna go to Singkang Square now. In front of me. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Hey, what? Did we miss the turn already? Uh, uh, where is Singkang Square? Are you Singkang sure it's Singkang Square? This does not you. look like Singkang Square. Just to double check, we are going to Singkang Square, right? I know, you're producer, bro. <laughs> yeah, I need someone yes. to Google. Sing <laughs> oh my god. Singkang Square <laughs> Oyster Omelette, okay? Eight hours later. So we are now here at Singkang Square. Another recommendation that uh, our writer got was Singkang Square Oyster Omelette. So there's two different versions for oyster omelettes, right? One is called Hao Tian and then there's a hao tan. The difference is that the hao tian uh, comes with starch mixed in with the egg, but the oyster egg is just egg and oyster, so that's the difference. Anyway, so we ordered the $4 version, if I'm not wrong. Is, is it $4? According to the article, it says that the oysters are chubby and chunky. Uh, the good thing about this oyster omelette, the Singkang Square oyster omelette, is also that it is halal certified. So here is a shot of the oyster. Oh, actually, yeah, it does look pretty big. Chunky and chunky. And of course, you need to pair oyster omelette with specific oyster omelette chili. Yeah, I'm collecting my thoughts. It's alright. <laughs> it's not. It's not amazing. It definitely had better, but it's alright. It's average. I would, I would say it's a. Uh, if you're around and you feel like trying oyster omelette, go ahead. But I wouldn't like come all the way here to eat this oyster omelette. I like my oyster omelette with like 
maybe like crisp to the starch of the egg. This one doesn't really have that. The oysters are good though. The oysters are really big and huge. Yeah, but the the combination of starch with egg could be better. This is average to me. Yeah, this is not like it's not so amazing. Moving on, so in Singapore Square, there's a lot of food to eat as well. One of which is the King of Fried Rice. So King of Fried Rice is like has a lot of branches already. So there's also King of Fried Rice here. But another thing that really caught my eye is this. Uh, what's it called again? Penye Katini. So this is not recommended anywhere, but it, it just looks so good. So I was just walking by and I saw like the tables and like orders of this. Uh. Ayam Penye is uh, it means smashed chicken la. So you can see the chicken is fried and then they, they use a mallet to like just whack the shit out of it. So it becomes like a smashed up chicken and then they put this fried batter crumbs all over. Uh, I also asked them to give me like extra curry on the rice and the acha is extra. So let's give it a shot. Oh the curry is very fragrant. Get a lot of the coconut flavor. Oh, sambal is a bit spicy. Uh, I'm gonna try the chicken. Uh, the typical like uh, turmeric, the yellow coloring that you can see. So it's actually from this, um, this spice. Oh, that's pretty good. The chili packs a punch. I like the crumbs. Try the acha. There's a lot of things happening. You got spiciness, you got the spices, you got uh, from the acha, it's a bit sour, a bit sweet. The fragrance from the coconut in the curry. Uh, this is actually really good. I would recommend this. 4.5. Eddie. Videographer. For local taste it's quite okay. Uh. But ayam penyet should not have any curry. Do you know that? Right, right, right. <laughs> so you're saying it's like not like authentic yeah. ayam penyet? Uh, it's, it's right, a localized taste right. uh, localized um, dish. Uh. So Singkang Square has a lot, a lot of stalls. Uh, but what really surprises me is there are two fried rice stalls in Singkang. Do Singkang residents like fried rice that much? You all need two stalls. Anyway, so we're done here and we're gonna move on to the next spot in Singkang. How do you feel right now? Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my god. After a... Uh, <laughs> Record shit, reaction yeah. in 4K. 235 skins. No, no one stays in Sengkang here, right? I've got a few friends uh, BTO in Sengkang. Uh, That's the only reason I've come, yeah, right. I've come to Sengkang. Yeah, right. I mean, compared to the older virtual man, this is one of the newer estates. Uh. Oh, the phone, the phone, the phone. <laughs> so we had a uh, ramen kitoyoshi. At first I thought, hey, it says SL ramen kitoyoshi. The SFB ramen, yeah. It means steam locomotive, apparently. The Japanese style order sheet. So I'm probably gonna get the special chashu oil. Normal, thin. I want hard. Like it hard. And I'm gonna get a full green too. Okay, I'm good. Hello. This right. Special chashu, uh, what's the difference uh, with like the normal ones? This one's meat. You don't say! Then this one not meat. Eh? <laughs> Sorry, this one is uh, chashu. Okay. Pork belly. Yeah, okay, it's pork belly. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. So uh, versus like tonkotsu is not pork belly. La. Okay, okay. So this one is pork belly. Can. It doesn't come with egg, right? Yeah, okay. So uh, yeah, I want add one egg. Okay, so according to our article, Ramen Hitoshi has a few outlets. They are in partnership with two Singaporean chefs, Ray and Tan, both of whom previously worked with Keisuke Tonkotsu King, which is also like one of my favorite ramen stalls. I, I think a lot of the techniques and the recipes is learned from there. So I ordered a special chashu tonkotsu. Apparently, it's made with pork belly instead of the lean pork meat, lah, right? So that's the, the key difference. And if I'm not wrong, you can see like, I think they torched, they torched the chashu as well. So I love ramen. Can't wait to try this. Let's give it a go. What else is inside? Black fungus. Egg is extra, so I added the ajitama. The seasoned egg, you can see like the center is flowy. And the soup, you can see it's freaking creamy. And oh, oh, my favorite bits is like, you can see like pieces of fat like floating around. Let's try the soup first. Oh, it's good. Actually, it tastes freaking like kesuke. <laughs> it's damn similar. Um, so noodles, uh, you can customize your noodles. I ordered hard noodles. I prefer hard noodles. A lot of Singaporeans prefer like softer, like softer noodles. Uh, I personally prefer harder. It's closer to like the Japanese versions. I'm gonna try the egg. Oh, I love ajitama. Mmm, very good. Okay, I'm gonna go for the char siu belly. So just to explain how they 
how they make this circular shape, right? So you got the pork belly, they'll roll it up into a ball <laughs> kind of thing, and then they tie a string, and then they'll season, marinate, blah, blah, blah. So it stays in this shape. Blah. It's quite a heavy porky flavor. It's quite lean though. I think it could be fatter. This is probably the best ramen in Sengkang, hands down. I, I didn't get the garlic version, this is just the normal one. So this would be $16.90. So one Aji Tamago is $2. Not super cheap, not super expensive. I think it's okay. Yeah, if I were in Sengkang and I'm craving ramen, then I'll definitely come here. But this one you auto come over, I never call you. <laughs> the, the soup has a lot of fat though. I mean, that's that's one part of what makes it so good. It's very gao, it's very thick. It feels like they, they need a lot of hours to make it, I assume to get this kind of like flavors inside. So this is damn good ramen. This is like town standard. I'll give this a 5 on 5. Like 5 stars, honestly. Even the egg, which is half eaten. Who took a bite and put it back? Oh, it's me. <laughs> there's, a, there's a hole in my straw. I got a minus half a point here. So we've come to the end of this Sengkang Food Finders. How do you feel? There, there were a few stalls or places that we, that we didn't know existed. Mm. One good example was the ramen stall, I think. The ramen sauce is good, right? Yeah, yeah very nice. Oh, that, oh, that one's favorite. Yeah. I think one of the disappointing things for me was the, the oyster omelette. Yeah. Uh, at Sengkang Square. I, uh, it's, it's very, very average. Yeah. It's supposed to be like juicy and runny inside. It's just like. Yeah. If you want something that is surprising, the ayam penyet is surprisingly okay. I, I, I quite like the cha kway teow. I think that is a bit better than average. Yes. Do you uh, think whatever that is uh, written in the article, is, does it stand true to what you believe in? I, I think other than the oyster omelette, the, the rest were, were okay. Yeah, I need to go back and change the, change the oyster omelette. <laughs> Time to have it. Uh, I've got to review our own writers uh, from time to time. I think this was a good exercise. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Alright, so yeah, thanks, thanks for this episode. Please leave anything in the comments. If you want us to try a different area or area guides that we've written on, you will personally go and try it and let you know how accurate is our guides. <laughs> if there's any hidden secret, hidden uh, spot yeah. in your neighborhood that you want us to try, let us know. Alright, All right. see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah, just don't contest with all restaurants. <laughs> Fade to black. <laughs>